Our next job is to add error bars. By default, Excel 2007 adds both horizontal and vertical error bars. I don't know how to fix this, so I add both and then, at the end, I remove the horizontal bars. There's probably a better way to do it. I don't know what it is. Anyway, our first job is to make sure we can see our data from which we're going to make our error bars. Our error bars will be standard deviation. We need to see that. We then go to Layout, Error Bars, and straight to More Error Bar Options. At this point, we have a look. Yep, we want both up and down. We want caps on the end. Default settings are fine. Custom. We don't use this because we've already calculated it. Custom. Specify values. Okay, our positive error bars are those. Our negative error bars. Delete that. Are those. Okay. Close. As you can see, the error bars we want and the horizontal ones we don't. Very difficult to try and catch them. I suggest click on your graph, stretch it right out. Now you've got a bit more room to try and catch your error bars and to delete back where we want it for biology anyway. Of course, our next job is to bring this back to a sensible proportion. And there we go, error bars just like we need them.